the prophecies fulfilled at last, now Thanor's might is unsurpassed. I'll take that sword now, and the jewels! Cravius, Lord of the Underworld! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! You're wrong. The jewels are now part of the weapon that will slay you. Give them to me! Blast! Oh. Horrid disharmony. of wrath! Stirring him! Ring of fire! No! <laughs> I summon the fury of hell! Death to all who defy me! Shield of courage! Untuned cord! Serenade. Burning Blade! Untuned Core.
because of me. It's my fault. I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. Ethan? <sighs> Listen to me. It wasn't your fault. At all. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. Charlotte? Back here? Hey, thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. Honestly, by the end, I was having just as much fun as he was. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. Well, he's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. I don't mind you at all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Are you sure? If you want company, I'm- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? Shit. This was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? Alex, it's your fault. Everyone loves you. 
But I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. It's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? She's so angry at everyone around her. But there's something else here. with me. I can't let myself feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Ethan! It's your fault! Why couldn't you just fucking listen? You're angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Kate... I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe, but Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. Your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. I wish I were too. This anger could kill her and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if I could just take it away. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? I can't. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Run by the Illuminati? 
That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? Honestly, I think she'd want me to keep what happened just between us. Sorry. Of course. Don't apologize. So, please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you, okay? Shit, that didn't take long. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Typhon safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit! He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> That's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. You okay? We're taking these fuckers down. <sighs> this USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Talk about... So... How fucked are we? If we can't work it out ourselves, I could always just seduce the truth out of Diane. Oh, you really think so? Uh, yeah. You saw me in action, right? We're gonna get them, okay? Yeah, I know we will. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Typhon safety. Mac? It's me. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. What the hell is Rhea? Must have been pretty damn important. Maybe Diane says more about it in her email? Maybe. 
Let me see if I can find it. This is ACFC. How can we feed you? Is the good pickin' chicken thing still going on? It sure is. Nice. Uh, let me get a large order of the spicy nut. Lace Flowers, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, Bev, it's me. Mac! Hey! What's up? I'm on lunch. Oh, you're not gonna believe what J-Man did this morning with some of the new diet. Hey, so I'm not sure about this part here. Shh, it's Mac. Is that Gabe? Hey, Mac, can we talk later? I'm kinda busy. Busy how? Let's hang out when you get up. Hi, Belt Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh... I'm of Typhon Mining. I think we had one of your plumbers up here last week. Typhon Mining. Uh, give me just one second to check our records. Yes, I have a record of a service call regarding some sewage backup. Yeah, yeah, that... Yeah, so, um, I don't think it's fixed. The field report I have says that the issue was diagnosed and solved. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant- it's Typhon Mining, this is Brandon. Hello, I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane, I'm calling to- Confirm inspections? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look at Typhon Safety? Mac? It's me. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think- I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane and all this, but damn. HNB Investigations. Ben is speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me. Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I'll come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's so gross that Typhon has people watched. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Diane, it's, uh, it's... 
Jason. Hello, deputy. You have good news for me? I suppose I do. You are officially cleared to continue regular operation. The county no longer considers your pit an active crime scene. Well, that's a huge relief. Now, to be clear, the investigation is still open and active. Typhon hasn't been cleared of anything yet. Sure, I understand. But can we start mining again? Yes, you can start mining again. Is there anything else? Nope. No, that's it. Well, thanks for the call. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Diane. You too. Seems a lot easier to get away with murder than you'd hope. Typhon Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and, I don't know, after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Rhea went off undetected. Was there a second blast that night? They only had permits for one. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea would be discovered? Shit. The blast that killed Gabe was just a cover for another explosion? We didn't hear another explosion, though. It must have gone off somewhere else. If we can find out where it was, that might tell us what it was for. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Diane has dossiers on the entire Haven Council. That's not creepy at all. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Wait. They set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? That shaft was exhausted years ago. There's nothing left to dig up. What could possibly be down there that's so important to them? Typhon just had to pass a bunch of inspections at the old site, didn't they? Yeah, so? So, I don't think they were digging something up. They were burying something. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe.
I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay, time to head downstairs. Test, test, check, check, check. Holy shit, you own a skirt? Hey guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Two thirty-two, two thirty-three, two thirty-four. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, cause the prize is a one hundred dollar gift card. My mom just got a promotion, so I thought I could take her out for a nice dinner. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. It's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I was close? Maybe I should say something. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah, 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Dear me, they're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! 
Your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. (laughs) No sweat. Got pretty lucky there, didn't ya? Super lucky. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. It happened last year. Yep. I remember it clear as day. It's been a hell of a month. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. Excuse me. I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. Right? It almost makes you feel like a tiny Coachella. (laughs) Super tight. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it. The wheels on the bus, they go around and around. The autumn leaves, they keep falling down. And I finally feel I found a place where I'm at home with my heart again. So then, where's the after party this year? Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? Just kidding. (laughs) Or am I? The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. I better get going. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. You too. I better head back. This is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. (laughs) Of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. (laughs) Who's 
said anything about missing out. Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. This is going to be awesome. Trust me. Um, we've never played together before, and, uh, anyway, sorry if this sucks. <sighs> Fuck it. Just a mind stop to check you out. Let me go on. 